guys, it's your boy Yurt from the BTC. What's up, homies? What is up, everybody? Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Rocket League Hot Wheels 5-pack from 2018. And man, is this an unorthodox review. So, uh, let's talk about the packaging and we'll get into the cars into actual detail when I open them up. So, let's start it off. We have two little flaps. I've already opened this because I had to get the DLC code to show you guys in the video. We'll get to that later. Point is, you go on this side, you got a nice little Rocket League logo right there. And then toward the top, you have the nice little Bone Shaker and Twin Mill 3, which actually got put in the game as DLC, which was sick. And I wish I was there when they added that DLC, but no, I was too late like a dummy head. Moving on to the back, you get this nice little thing that says Rocket League 5 pack, which I'm sick. Bigger picture of the, of the Bone Shaker and Twin Mill 3, then special bonus DLC download inside. And then it just gives you instructions on what to do. See, and down here, it tells you the name of all the cars. Gazella GT. MR11, Fast Forward, Bone Shaker, and Twin Mill 3. But anyway, let's open this bad boy. And here are all the cars out of the packaging, and let's take a closer look at each one. And first off, we have probably, in my opinion, the most famous car in Hot Wheels history, the Twin Mill 3. Now this little beauty right here is the Rocket League version as I think this is an actual decal you can equip on the Twin Mill if you bought the DLC back in the day. Um, and it looks pretty sick. I just love Twin Mill 3 and having another one never hurts. Moving on to the next one, we have the Bone Shaker. The Bone Shaker is also a very, very popular car in my opinion. Uh, again, one of the two greats along with Twin Mill. I never understood the appeal of Bone Shaker compared to Twin Mill. I always thought Twin Mill was sleek and sick, but I never understood why Bone Shaker was so loved. However, I think it still does look cool and it's nice that they have one of the two greats. Anyway, next up we have Fast Forward, which has to be my favorite car of this bunch. I know, right? Weird. Uh, I, I just think Fast Forward is a very, very cool car, and I mean, I don't know, he's got something nice about him. It's just so sick. I love him. And you got the little Rocket League logo right there, so if this is probably the one that the Rocket League logo is least apparent in, but yeah, it's there. Next up we have the Gazella GT which, in my opinion, is a cool looking car. Uh, probably my favorite thing about this car has to be those wheels. Dang it, those look nice. I mean, the car itself is also pretty cool. I mean, the little shell up on top is kind of makes the car a little fragile, and it's not the best for track. However, it is a super nice and sleek car. Not as sleek as Twin Mill, however, it feels like it would be a nice sports car if the top wasn't completely clear. Finally, last but not least, the MR11, or MR11, whatever you guys are going to call it. And this one is also a super nice car. I have another version of this one. I just don't know what it is. And it's pretty nice. It's got the nice little Rocket League logo up on front. It's got what appears to be soccer balls as the shoulder pads. And it's just a very nice little car. Um, and then it's also got the Rocket League actual lettering on the back of it, which, I mean, looks pretty nice. And overall, this is a pretty cool car. Now up to the next thing that you get in this, and that is not a physical thing, but it's rather a virtual thing. And if you yourself have this, this pack, I doubt you do if you're looking at the review, but basically you get the code by looking down here on the bottom of the packaging, you can see some letters right there. Those are the code. Yeah, so for the pack, uh, for the pack I got a uh, Hot Hot Wheels, which I mean, are pretty cool, so epic. And if you were wondering what Rocket League is about, Rocket League is a game about cars. Yeah, that's right, it's about cars. But that's not all, it's about soccer. Wait a minute, how did these two ideas come together to form this beautiful masterpiece? I have no clue, to be honest. I think they were just drunk at Psionics one day and they were like, you know what, ooh, cargo room. And then bam, Rocket League was born. Or should I say supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars? Yeah, that's a real name. That was, <laughs> that came out on the PS3. That was the predecessor to Rocket League. But anyway, the game has reached so much popularity that we get an esports scene and all sorts of stuff, and you get clips like this that happen. Yeah! Yeah! Bro, it looks like a genuine soccer match. Yeah! <laughs> but anyway, back to the cars. Man, do they look nice. If you're a Rocket League fan, I would definitely recommend picking this up because. 
I mean, it's a free DLC and you get five cars. I mean, you got to support your favorite brand and you got some nice little physical items. Now that I've noticed that this video is running a little short, let me compare this to my Hot Wheels Octane. And damn, I mean, they look so sick together. I'm not gonna lie, the Octane looks a little small compared to Twin Mill, but I don't know how they look compared in game. But I think the Octane is super cool, and you know what? Now that we're here, I might as well go over the Octane. Hello guys, it's your boy Yoke from the BTC, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Hot Wheels Rocket League Octane. Here's the Octane and it's packaging. And this is the Octane opened. Isn't it so cool? All right, I guess we're done with that. Uh, let's, 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 okay, we're done with that. <laughs> so I guess that's the end of this double review, guys. Uh, I really, really like these cars, don't get me wrong. These are great. I just don't think they're good video content, to be honest. But I tried my best. I just really wanted to get these guys out there because they're sick. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unorthodox video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.